You are not going to believe it, but Jason and I are both up, dressed, and somewhat ready for the day. It is 8.38. Ashley is already at school. Um, do we need the vacuum out, or? I got it out because I had to go in and out. Oh, okay. Um, she had her leadership meeting at school today. She has them once a month, so Jason took her to that, but I was awake for all of her alarms. I was actually probably awake before her alarms went off. And uh, then Chelsea informed me that a project, that's a loose term, <laughs> she had made for school today that was due today, had been on the counter. She came up to my room minutes before she had to go to the bus. And she was like, Mom, where's that project with, with the, um, what is that called? Pipe cleaner on it. That was on the counter. Um, I threw it away because I thought that because Ashley was making these all night, all night, <laughs> she was cutting and gluing and taping, which is fine. I like my kids to be creative. I mean, clearly I let my kids be creative. I thought it was Ashley. So I threw it away. No, it was a school project. I don't know what the project was, but apparently it was necessary for school today. I threw it away. The only reason why I was worried about that and why I actually got up and came downstairs um, was because of what I'm about to show you, the mess that we have in the kitchen. I was like, oh no, oh no. We took three bags of trash out yesterday. Don't know why. Luckily, hers was in the very last bag of trash we hadn't taken out yet. See, this is another. All right, what is Jason learning how to do this morning? <sighs> this. We've had a code 38. We've had code 6, code 8, code 15. And what else? Yeah. So... Luckily, this morning, the fridge is actually still working, but you'll see we've emptied a lot of it. Right, because he's got ice to clean off the back there, but we've taken almost everything back out of it because we didn't know last night at 10 p.m. when the fridge started making this noise. Wait for it. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. So, it only stops when you open it, which means we realized that everything in our freezer was not freezing anymore. So at 10 o'clock last night, we started emptying everything into the fridge freezer out here, which at 11.30, I remembered that Abby's um, naked drinks were in the fridge texted her to go put them in the fridge and she's like well I, I'm like there's no more room we have this mini fridge this has come in handy so we have ranch and go -Gurts and I didn't want to lose my mayonnaise <laughs> so I put the mayonnaise in here I don't care about the ketchup and the mustard if we have to replace that we can um we got this one for her the other day so she has all of her things in here um and hopefully that is working it feels like it's cold um, I lost three garbage cans full of food from the freezer. This one is packed up. We always keep our extra milk out here, but we had to put our Fairlife milk out here. Um, Abby's Jello is always out here. The pumpkin pie I bought yesterday is almost gone. That's my ham from the Christmas party. These are our cottage cheeses, our cream cheese, Cool Whip. I only worry, looks like he took out the top shelf to be able to fit more in here. Um, it's not the greatest freezer, but it kept everything frozen. Luckily, we didn't lose things that cost a lot of money. Um, I lost one bucket of, what do you call it, chicken broth. But I was able to save three bags of it. That's the mess we have. I also have laundry. It's Friday. I'm trying to get ahead, ahead of it for the weekend. We the yep. So. The hair dryer. I don't know if we have one. I do. I have one upstairs. I think we actually bought a hair dryer with the intent of fixing this. So 
this is also the state of our kitchen, which really like we can kind of pack up and put, put away a lot of this medicine because she's not using it and we're not using any of these. So I'll just bag this up now. Lots of good, you know, instant freezer packs now. This was in the freezer, so we just pulled these out. Didn't have room in the outside freezer. So, can you get down in there? I don't know. Usually this is Ashley's job. Oh, oh hold on. You need a hand? <clears throat> oh yeah, there's more over here. So this is from the freezer. This is the ice bucket from the freezer. This is what all the medicine was in. I had to empty that out to help load stuff to the other freezer. Those are all our ice packs that we just took out. So, this is just lovely. It gets worse before it gets better, right? I've resorted to the apron. Um, we have fridge cabinets on the floor. Towels going in there, which means we're gonna have more laundry. Totally fine. Wait, where did Coco Bar go? Where did Coco Bar go? Where did you put that? What? I don't care that it's gone, but I just wanna know where it is. On the table. Okay. I'm gonna work on the medicine, putting the medicine away, backing up the little syringes, just in case. And then I'm trying to work through dishes, loading, cleaning off this area. We've got condiments going on here. Just a lot. As happens with this kind of stuff, you start spiraling into all the messes. So now I'm cleaning underneath the sink. I have cleaned and organized the medicine cupboard. I'll show you that here in a sec. But I'm going through my bins here. This one had some questionable things in it. Now, put it all back together. The medicine cover, I've got the fridge stuff to go back in. I've got ice packs to go in. And then I just, it doesn't look like much, but I have accidentally spilled a bottle of allergy pills in here. So I had to clean all that out. Organize the other three medicine buckets to fit some of the leftover medicine from Abby. I've got some vitamins in here. Multivitamins right there to use daily. So that cupboard is now clean. The under sink is clean. I just need to like organize it so that I can actually fit the garbage cans back in there. I can't remember how I configured it. I've wiped it out, swept it out. Now there's a mess on the floor. That's Pandora's box. This is why I wanted the apron on because I knew, I just knew. I knew it was gonna turn into this. Wasn't planning on showering today, but I kind of feel like it at this point in the game. <laughs> right now I'm using watered down Myers peppermint because Chelsea hates this scent and so I'm just using the last of it to do a deep clean in the sink here and then she won't have to use it ever again literally I just it had like dredge in the bottom of it so I just added water All right, well, you would think that we were done, but alas, we are not. <laughs> we think we have solved the problem. Did you plug it back in or no? It's really melting. I just heard water dripping. Well, we're, do we need to put a towel down in here? Okay, well. I am. Okay. I have a whole load of towels in. But I haven't started it. All right, we're gonna tuck that in there. So we're still trying to get this to fully melt. And so we can't put anything back in. But we think we have solved the problem of the freezer. Oh, there's water down in there too. So I think there were multiple problems with the fridge all happening at the same time. So the ice freezes up on the back panel because it just is a crappy fridge. Um, it's not a crappy fridge, it's just one of the design flaws. Yeah, it's just some. the, it's, sorry, it's a crappy design flaw. Okay. It just is. I mean, how many, we have to do this four times a year. It's just ridiculous. So that was just time to do. We thought that there was something wrong with the cooling van fan that was preventing ice to be made in the freezer and then thus making the freezer work itself. And that's what that high-pitched 
wine was was the fan trying to work but we discovered this fell behind the ice like the whole drawer like the drawer itself here because when you're normally pulling it you have to really like kind of pull and, and when it's turned on there's even more pressure to yank on it and I realized the last time I opened it when it was turned on and it was making that noise I didn't have to pull hard at all and I was like well then it's not closing so if it's not closing it's not freezing um, and that's why everything was like thawing out and then I thought there was also the problem of the fan not working but I think it was a combination of lit this cup being stuck behind it so that it couldn't freeze and then it just happened to be at the same time as the ice building up on the whole like thing on the whole fridge end of it so it just was unfortunate that it all happened at the same time we did lose a bunch from the freezer but it was kind of stuff that you're like it's like the mystery meat you're like is it really turkey <laughs> is it really are we going to be sad to have it gone we have to finish letting the fridge thaw out a little bit longer and let our tempers kind of settle down. We're a little agitated and annoyed that we've spent our whole morning. It's 11.30 now, we've been doing this for three hours, so we're just tired. But now, under the sink is clean, the floors are swept and mopped, the medicine cabinet is clean, the fridge is clean, the freezer is clean, laundry is getting done, and on a fun note, I'll give you a fun little montage of the one thing that has brought us a little bit of joy um, and it brought Abby a lot of joy trying to not show her over there she's right behind me on the couch she finished her Lego set and she had a great time doing it and there's a lot of modifications that can be done for it that's really fun um, but we have done one for Christmas for the holidays that it's just kind of fun so on our way out to go run errands we'll bring you along but until then here is our little christmas display first flake of snow is set to fall today it comes to say that christmas is on its merry Came into Target and we're parked nowhere near. Can you see that little white car at the very end of the parking lot? The very end. That was the empty spot that we found. <laughs> He's like, why is it so busy today? I said, because this is the deadline. Today is the last day of school before Christmas break, 10 days before Christmas. This is make or break day for parents. You gotta get it today. You gotta get it home. You gotta hide it. You gotta, you're gonna have your kids home for the next 10 days before Christmas. I'm done shopping. He is getting stuff for our company party. Um, and I'm here for moral support and to give him guidance on cute plates. <laughs> the second reason is usually the reason that Israel is real. Yes. You don't think I'm here for moral support? <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I am. And I like shopping on someone else's dime. Hi. Welcome Hi. In. All right, sure enough, I forgot to tell you what we got. What did we get? These are my cute little Trader Joe bags. We got, we don't drink alcohol, but they do. So they're bringing alcohol. Um, our staff is, I should say. So we just got these little cheapo um, wine glasses, cup, whatever these are. I don't know what they are. And then because they told him that he can't bring dessert um, because they don't, they trust my cooking, but they don't want me to cook for this party because it's not my, anyway, they don't want me to cook for it. So we're joking and we're gonna put these on a nice platter and we're gonna take them and pretend like he made them. And then we got uh, plastic so none of us have to do dishes. So I got these three. They, I don't know, I liked mixing different patterns. Um, it's like sweater material looking and then the dessert plate and then napkins and then we're gonna do wrapping paper on the table like I did at my other party and then hopefully he'll go gather some greenery again. I think it'll be really pretty with some twinkle lights. And then they'll be like, whoa, he can decorate. 
Is that all we got? Oh, we got cups, regular cups, and oh, containers to take leftovers home because our employee's husband always makes way too much food. He's cooking for us. Really um, and then we, we, yeah, he's a really good chef. Um, and then sodas for those that don't drink. And then I got raisins and lotion. That's all I got. Well, so they can make mixed drinks. That's what they want to do. <laughs> oh, like Coke and vodka? Is that what you do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Meanwhile, Jason is going to run into Costco because we've been here once this week. Actually, I've been here twice this week. So this will be our third time. Um, there's an ambulance out here. Someone's okay. Um, I'm sending him in to get a pumpkin pie. I got one for Abby two days ago. <laughs> it's already gone. But as my dad would say about ice cream and kids getting better from any ailment, fever, anything, ice cream for him, even though he's a pediatrician himself, ice cream is in fact the cure. And Edison, but he would definitely say, we thought ice cream would be Abby's ticket. That milkshakes, ice cream, smoothies, that kind of thing would be what Abby would really want to have. But man, as soon as she could start making the motion in her mouth to swallow soft foods, like she's all into yogurts and applesauce and things like that for sure. And I chose the wrong aisle. This is why I don't park on this side of Costco. Pumpkin pie. It is her jam. It is her ice cream. It is all the calories she needs. <laughs> and I got more Cool Whip for her yesterday when I went to do the stocking stuff. Um, it's calories. And they're not bad calories. And the pumpkin is a good thing to eat. Um, she just, she's really enjoying um, having the chance to eat real food, like not just a liquid squeezed into her mouth she still can't do straws and it so it just feels like she's eating i think that's the biggest thing i mean it's delicious too who's kidding but um it just it tastes really good for her and yesterday we went i didn't film yesterday but we went um her and i and chelsea you can't even see me went to the mall to pick up a present for jason i had a said an idea of something to get him and I wanted to include them in that shopping experience and so um, we went down there and I knew well Chelsea was like I'm getting a cinnamon roll right I never go shopping with you and so I knew I was gonna get her a cinnamon roll and I would want a pretzel and uh, she can't have anything like that and so I was like oh do you want a smoothie when we go to the mall and she's like no no it's okay I'll go grab some pumpkin pie <laughs> She grabbed her slice of pumpkin pie in a Tupperware and just ate it here in the car. She just sat there while we drove to the mall and ate her pumpkin pie and Cool Whip and water. And she's like, no, that's all I need. And then um, had it again when she got home and had it again when she went to bed, right before she went to bed. And it's fine. You know, the doctor said it doesn't really matter at this point what food she's eating. If you can get calories in her, she's going to lose weight. I, she's still a healthy kid in general, and he's like, she'll catch up next month. Like, she'll be fine as soon as she is able to like start chewing again. So, he's getting into the pumpkin pie. Because like, he's not arguing it either. He has access to the pumpkin pie. I think maybe he's, I, don't, I told him not to get one for the store party, because we got those cookies. But I, I would bet that maybe he would get two pumpkin pies, just, because he might need one for the store. Even the, anyway. So we did tell you the pumpkin pie would be gone, and it was. <laughs> but um, after all your hard work, I actually made it work. <laughs> <laughs> I got the air codes to turn off and actually have the function of the fridge back after all your hard work. You used your two thumbs. <laughs> and reset and the... you pushed for eight <laughs> seconds. I appreciate all your assistance. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but it is working. And it is clean. We have put this fr food back in. Let's just let it cool and then we'll move the other And then we'll stuff. move the other stuff that actually, this stuff didn't need to like stay cold necessarily. So, okay. Good stuff. Do you want to relax for just a bit and then go wrap presents? I don't know if Ashley's going to her cheer thing tonight. So I don't know how much time we have available to us. Yeah. Ashley kind of got it in her head that she didn't have to go tonight. So now she doesn't want to go. 
but she was also just really tired last night. So I just had to wait till she gets home. But I'm gonna finish working on this computer. Oh, I was looking at the, I was looking at the code <laughs> to, you know, be the miracle worker at the very end of his project. I mean, I was helping too, but. All right, I'm gonna finish this really quick and then we're gonna go wrap presents because I have a system. I'll show you what I've done so far. I have a really good system and it's, I mean, I'm still Abby's space heater again because our room is so cold, but I'm hoping that we actually get a lot more presents wrapped before we have to go to Ashley's chair game tonight. I want her to go because it's a good practice run for her competition. Although that one, those guys aren't performing tonight. It's just a good one. And our neighbor is on her squad. Like she's only like, she's little. But I think it's her first performance. So we've never gone, like we've gotten to know the other cheer moms and the other cheer families and stuff through the, this past year but we've never known them going into it. And now we know someone um, going to these little games and stuff. And so um, it'll be kind of fun to like actually go to an event knowing people there. So, all right, I'll show you my wrapping paper set up in just a minute. Okay, we are gonna work as much as we can before we have to go, um, or if we do end up going. Got my wrapping paper bucket here. I've kind of undone it. I've got um, ribbon here, and then extra tissue paper from last year that we saved, and then white tissue paper that I just got this year. This is our wrapping paper of choice this season, but I am not going to have enough, I don't think, so I might have to go get some more. Um, and then got our table set up here. We watch Love Actually, otherwise he gets a computer and watches his own action movie. But the other day, yesterday, I wrapped um, and folded all the clothing items that go into these little dress boxes. I've gotten all of those done for all of the kids and I've labeled the box itself so it's easy to wrap them and then we're going to use these tags this year and write their name on the back but don't put uh, like a from kind of telling him at the same time just write like to abby to kaylee or i'll do it for you that way i can actually reuse them next year because it doesn't really That's matter cool. who it's from we don't worry about santa we don't worry about like mom or dad so i've got those two to get work and with don't we have the ones the girls got for each other for their own presents yeah they wrap their own okay yeah. um and then we're gonna tie i have had this spool of yarn or whatever this is for years, I don't even, uh, years, I don't, I, it doesn't run out, I swear. This is like the best $5 string I've ever bought. We're gonna tie it up with that, put the tag on it, um, and call it good. I am not going to bother with this kind of ribbon. I use this for like their sister gifts or maybe to like an extra special, like a, the teacher gift for Ashley's teacher, I use that, but I just kind of get it out of the way. Um, this does work, it's just really small. Um, so it might work now that the wrapping paper roll is smaller. We're just gonna turn on our show. I've got a snack and we are going to wrap as many of these boxes to start with as possible tonight before we have to go. And then I'll have to just wrap all the other secretly. It's all in here. I've got bins and boxes and extra boxes to wrap the odd shaped things. It's all been hiding in here. Here's something that's making it go faster for us. He cuts it out, keeps the wrapping paper down there. He gets the right size, he shifts it down to me. Then he makes another one for himself. Sometimes I tie his ties like I did on the last one while he cuts more and we just have a good rhythm. Nope, hand it down to me. You're falling behind. I know, hand it down to me. I'm not <laughs> behind, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> so then he'll cut another piece. I also have the names of the person that it belongs to on the box. So does he. So then he tells me what name tags he needs and I make one really quick and I put it here by him and then I make mine and we don't get mixed up with whose present is whose. Also, don't put Christmas presents in the wrapping paper bucket as your wrapping presents because this is from last year <laughs> for Gailey. And I wondered where that went. So we're gonna attach it to the top of the package just for fun this year. We ran out of paper. I had a feeling that would happen. Like most projects, you get one left over. Wait, what's that paper over there? It's like an extra piece. See, I don't know why we can't wrap one kind of one way and then the other the other way. What do you mean? 
Like you cover it, like you do your No, this is like so janky. This is, he has to stay, I have to keep him in check. <laughs> I have to, to keep him in check. He's not allowed to write the notes. I write the, because you have crappy handwriting. <laughs> no, whatever. And I have to get, like, we catch all him. This stuff yes, I am, because I have little things. Here you can wrap this present from Kaylee, or for Kaylee. You tie it on the packet. I know, I haven't done it yet. Just wrap it for or, or find one of hers and attach it to it. Because there's like a little hole one. Just attach it to yeah, the but string. you can't attach it after the fact. No, you can. One of the strings. Just attach it with the string. It's going to be heavy. It's going to pull. It's, gonna make it's not. It's going to sit underneath the tree. Okay. <sighs> we don't know if Ashley is going to go to cheer. But regardless, this is how much we got done. We actually have only one box left. It's really crappy lighting. I'm doing the camera into the window. Let me show you. So we've wrapped all of these. Is this all we've wrapped? It feels like there There's should be more. Here. I don't know. I just thought there was more. Um, so we just have that one more box there. And then I do want to use gift bags, but like I only have really, really big ones left. And then this size. So I'll show you what I've got. What's I, the present for uh, I actually one? wrapped more downstairs. I'll show you. What? What's the present for number one? For number one? Oh, our special one? Yeah, it's in there, but we need a big box and paper to wrap it. So That's in the garage. The box? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, not left with many options here at Hobby Lobby. And I gotta hurry or else I'm gonna get stuck in major traffic. I already am, but these are my two options. And I, I don't know. I wanted a pop of red, but all the red ones left. Actually, I have that one at home, but I don't want the black. So I have my sample they both would match it it would be cute but do I add a little pop of red by this one I don't know it's kind of they're both very vibey they both would go well with it I just have to decide One. Right, Ash? Yeah. Long wait for a very quick performance, and you didn't even do any of your songs. <laughs> she has her sparkly jacket replacement. What is your re your I'm name? Ida. You're Ida. Show them. I'm we had to get replacement jackets for the meantime for competition Saturday, so all the girls have the wrong name, right? Yeah. Everyone has one except for me. Yeah. Katharina. Katharina, I know. Okay, we're home. She's tired. We're trying to get ready for competition tomorrow. But I wanted to show you our really growing pile of presents under the Christmas tree. We did a lot of work today. Um, whole huge stack of boxes right there. Um, it's just kind of fun. Um, I did all these bags yesterday just because I knew they were odd sizes. And I didn't want them to go in a box, but it would be hard to wrap. So I did the bags. Um, I actually looked at Hobby Lobby today for some more. And I didn't really find ones that I liked. So um, hopefully I'm good <laughs> to be able to wrap everything else with paper. But I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow at competition.